Hello guys, Demodaki2 here. We're back for some more From the Depths, Ashes of the Empire. So last time we took out this zone here, and we're attempting to capture the uh, connecting map segment here. We got this one already in capture right here, and we're about to... Uh, oh, we already taken this, never mind. I guess in the last episode I went in and got this all set up and running. So yay that. Uh, I think this one we were just going to try to keep uh, rolling on t into uh, the territory of the Deathwind Gypsies. So we got a force coming in right here. Let's see if we can get a quick repair in and then take it out. Are we good? Yep, looks like it. Alright, we'll jump in the fighter bomber and begin battle. I got the list to uh, look like a train. Makes me wonder if I should try uh, see if I can't make a newer version of uh, Crazy Train. Getting a thumbnail here. Here we go. I Man, we knock something pretty important out. Yeah, it looks like it. I think this might make a better thumbnail. Yeah. And there goes the death harmonic. Another strafing run. We've got two salvos off that time. And battle is finished. Awesome. Alright, pull all. Uh, we'll go here, capture the material, and uh, uh, I think I'm going to pause the recording here, and I'll bring you guys back in when something interesting happens. Be right back. Alright, well, it looks like the white flares are trying to uh, move in on our territory here. I don't know what their plans are, if they're just going to come in here and try to take the zone, but we're, we still got a pretty good lead on as far as capturing it. I'm hoping this doesn't lead to a war with them. I'm not exactly prepared to fight them right now. But we still have a fairly significant lead there, so we'll go ahead and see about taking this. So I'll be right back when something else happens. Alright, thankfully they are leaving. They just now turn around and they're heading out of my territory. I was really, really worried about that, not gonna lie. Um, I'm not a big fan of them taking this tile right here, but I think we'll, we'll be fine. And we'll go ahead and take that one up there. But I probably should have been trying to capture these a lot sooner. Anyway, and we're about to take this other one right here.
Doesn't even seem like there's a whole lot going on with everyone else right now. But anyway, um, I'll be back when I got something to show you guys. Uh, I made a mistake. I got some of these things uh, mixed around. Uh, I thought this zone was this one right here, but yeah, we uh, managed to capture this tile, and the supply helicopter is now building up with these uh, collectors. We're now just in the process of capturing this tile right here, and I think we'll go ahead and try to grab that one. White players are still making the grab for a territory here. Uh, Ox Watch, not really a whole lot going on, and I am completely fine with that. That has some pretty heavy tanks. That looks like Steel Empire is going to try to move into this territory, but the, the Twin Guard have already taken it for the most part. I don't see them going to war. I believe they're allies from the start. Anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and bring you guys back in once i got something interesting to show you. So we got a Sand Raider coming up here. Uh, that would be pretty much like no problem for my forces here. I'll go ahead and knock it out. Light tank shouldn't have any problem with it, and we'll get a Vermont. I mean, not the Vermont, but the uh, Death Harmonic. And here we go. Um, something I should let you guys know, uh, I took the AP and bomb out of it, it just didn't seem like it was very effective in this setting, so I just changed it to a very short range missile. It still has the AP in though, just so I can have a better guidance system and a little fuel to work with. Well, Vermont tanks seem like they're doing very good here. Yeah, that thing's basically completely shut down now. Engines blown up. AI still intact. And there's the Death Harmonic coming in for another strafing run. Alright, excellent. So we've almost got this captured and we can get a few materials from it. Uh, I got the Jawbreaker out here just so we can have a uh, our material gatherers set up here. Um, I'm also going to be spawning in some air units once that's up and going, so that way we can have uh, some more firepower on the field. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back in. Now, uh, let's all that's done. All right, guys. So here's what I've done. Um, I got a spooky getting ready to go here. Uh, I got the uh, cram artillery piece here. The the uh, metalizer. And I got a couple of light fighters that I'm going to be spawning in, and we got the, uh, both the glorious Landmark II harvesters ready to go here. And we'll be using that in our next offense, but I'm not seeing currently anything on the map that, uh, no real threats just yet. It does seem up here in the north, though, that the... Twin Guard and maybe the Onyx Watch might have had something going on over here, but I think Onyx Watch has this tile for sure. So yeah, I've got a little ways to go before this is already, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording video and bring you guys back in once i got something. Well, never mind the fact that uh, we already declared war on them, but yeah, um, I'm hoping that they'll fixes somewhere in the scripting, but okay, whatever. Okay, so the spy satellite I was using to attack this right here came under attack by the sand raider, but that's fine. I think we can handle it. They're all supposed to be land, I think, yeah. That's the light tank, that's the light tank, that's the cram. Death Harmonic. We need you right over here. A pretty good altitude. There we go. 
I don't think we need the spooka or the spooky and the two sparta planes. So yeah, let's uh, hop on to the death harmonic again and begin battle. Of course, we got to unpause it. There we go. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, that was weird. It, it's, it's like it just disappeared. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll bring you guys back in when something happens. Okay, so we have another hostile force coming in here. Hopefully this one won't disappear on us. Alright, begin battle. We do have a pretty good blood count against it. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to last long. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cargo helicopter is making the rounds here to gather up more materials for us. We are getting a pretty good stockpile of it here, there, and everywhere. Bring you guys back once we have another uh, target to eliminate here. All right, so we finally got ourselves another target here. Another resource zone, just right front back in. So I'm gonna start lining up my forces, and uh, I'll bring you guys back in once we're ready to launch the attack. All right, here we go. I brought in everything at once. So yeah, fun times. Already beaten this thing all the hell, it looks like. Uh, Spooky's getting into position, and our light fighters are strafing targets. I believe that's a tremor there. Looks like they got a good strafing runoff on it. And let's go see what Spooky's doing over here. Uh, it doesn't look like it uh, has the uh, minigun loaded up yet, but that's fine. It takes a little bit. When it opens up, it's totally worth it. I think those are dumb fire missiles because I don't think a damn one of them has hit the uh, spooky there. Now let's see what's going on over here. That looks like another one of those material carriers. Uh, okay, I guess these are going for the... I think it's a python over there, but that's okay. So as long as something's getting hurt, I don't care. Oh, looks like we got some big old missiles coming at us. I'm wondering if they're going to run out of fuel before they do any damage. Um, yeah, that tank took a nasty hit. There must have been a large missile, but they didn't take it outright, so that's always good. Uh, let's use Spookies up and running. I believe so. I see some red tracers. It's so cool to watch this thing in action. Just pause it so you guys can see. It looks like they're going after the trimmer over here. And a cram artillery is coming after this. Um, Looks like that tank has been somewhat disabled. Ooh, took a cram hit to the side. And there it goes, probably got two damaged. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, what the hell is this thing called again? 
The Rattler? Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> it never gets old watching Spooky at work. Uh, this looks fairly big. Planes are already getting their strafing runs off on. I love radar guided missiles, but I wish you had a bit more say so over what uh, they're actually shooting at. Uh, looks like a spart is coming by to strafe that guy. Oh, big rocket barrage. Oh, looks like uh, got its butt shot off. Not quite sure how the hell that happened. I think it might have just collided with the ground. Damn it, I thought I pulled it. That was the wrong thing. I think that was the uh, damaged Vermont that uh, was no longer working, but we still got a lot of stuff out here to finish these guys off with. Looks like we're going after the python over here. Got a lot of air superiority, you know? Alright, did we get everything? Yeah, looks like it. Alright. Pull all and get everything repaired up. Uh, bring the jock breaker to do some quick repairs. Alright, well, I'll uh, pause the video once we get to something interesting. So, be right back. Alright, it looks like we have finally uh, cleared our way to the Dustwind Gypsies base here. We got the limb rudder down there. Seabird Cannon Fortress looks like it's not finished. Rattler, Sidewinder. Just a bunch of buildings over here. Yeah, it didn't look like anything that we can't handle right now. Uh, so Still got to take this up here, and we're in the process of trying to close up things over here. So uh, when I bring you guys back, we're going to try to uh, do this attack on uh, the uh, Dustwind Gypsies, and probably call it a video after that, so be right back. All right, it looks like uh, they're gonna make another attempt to attack us down here. Which, I'm fine with that. It's just a single rattler, so nothing really too much to worry about. Imagine this will go pretty quick. with a single salvo. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, uh, we are back and I brought in a whole nother tank force. Uh, brought in some of the medium tanks and some of the uh, tank destroyers. Formed the battle line up here. Uh, gonna have Spooky getting ready to fly in orbit. And we've got some Sparta light fighters over here. I want to uh, well, watch the action from uh, Sparta. Yeah. All right, let's begin. I maxed it out, so uh, yeah, this <laughs> it's gonna look like they have a pretty big block advantage, but I seriously doubt it's gonna do them much good because most their uh, shit's made out of wood. So yeah. Uh, I also added a, a bunch more helicopters. Captured some more territory. And yeah, this thing is going to be completely fucked to hell. Uh, land marauder. That's probably going to draw a shitload of fire, I'm sure. Let's 
as soon as Spooky's in position, it'll be uh, laying up. Yep. There it is, over there. And there's our medium tank force. Looks like they're trying to take this guy out. I believe that's a python. Yeah. Knocking the ever living shit out of it. I wish the the camos were a bit more. I don't want to say conventional. I guess more consistent, because it seems like every time I spawn something in or out, it always has a different camo. I don't know. I think it's a legitimate right. Our planes are still pounding on the plane marauder here. Uh, it doesn't look like it moved all that much, or it seems like maybe it's trying to, I'm not sure. There's not really a whole hell of a lot out here that can do a lot of damage to our aircraft, thankfully. And Spooky's just tearing up all of these little buildings all over the place. coming in. Tank destroyers are getting in close too. Oh, uh, where's our third tank? It seems like it's stuck all the way the hell out here. Let's bring you in a little closer, shall we? It's a little bit laggy, but I spawned in everything at once, so there's about, oh, 60... Okay, volume out here, give or take. Which I think we'll be fine with considering when I was doing my 2.4.9 campaign, I had that thing going at low eco, I don't know. 100,000? Uh, Sparta. Guessing that one took some damage. Yeah, something like that looks like it could probably do a little bit of damage to aircraft. Now let's go ahead and knock this thing out because I'm kind of concerned about it doing damage to our aircraft. The tanks can take the damage, but not the planes. Not if I can help it. And here comes a Sparta. I guess it's still reloading its missiles. The tank should knock that thing out. Maybe just one shot if they can get a beat on it. There we go. That was a decent strike. And it's gone. Everyone's going back into their battle lines. Which is something I really like about this uh, tank steering setup that I'm using. The tanks form up into a neat little line and just start pounding the shit out of everything. Um, you seem like a... You're a little messed up there, friend. I'd have to have a look at you later. We took down one of the fortresses. I believe that was a, one of the seabird cannon fortresses. And it's just everything around here is just getting decimated by spooky. I love it. And we took down the land marauder. Very nice. Uh, this is still up. I guess it's just some kind of structure for the dustwing gypsies. That thing's just been great for just saturating areas of the map with tons and tons of high explosive rounds. It takes a little bit to get it to switch targets, but once it starts laying into something, it's pretty incredible. I 
Uh, I think you're going to ram that, bud. Yep. Definitely going to ram it. From the Dubsay, I can't ever 100% trust it. That looks like the windmill is down. That house has about had it. I'm not really going to bother trying to capture anything in this. The getting materials is a lot easier where it seems like uh, back in the day it seems like it was a little bit harder to get them, so yeah. And then again, everything's more expensive now too, so. Hmm. Alright, looks like we about knock this all out. Yep, that house is down. Tank destroyers to destroy a village. That's gotta be some kind of war crime, am I right? Looks like we knocked out the Dustwing Gypsies. Um, only thing left to do is to try to capture all of this available territory down here and set up our resource collecting equipment. And after that, we'll pick our next target. I'm thinking we'll probably go against the Onyx Watch. At least that's what I'm considering right now. But uh, I think this is a good time to wrap up the video. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Damodaki 2 in part 2 of my. Uh, Ashes of the Empire Let's Play. I'll have yourselves a holiday and keep your hammer high. Later.